Hi everyone, this is Corin from Speed Ecom and in this new video we are going to see an interesting tutorial that will help you create a footer with trust badges on your Shopify store. So first let me show you what we are aiming to have at the end of this tutorial. These are the badges that we will be adding on top of our footer and uh, they are used to reassure your visitors and try to convert more of them into clients. And you should know that you will find in the description of this video the link to the uh, written uh, tutorial where you will have access to the different codes that we will use in this uh, tutorial. Alright, so this is going to be fairly easy. You have to start by copying your code that you have in the written tutorial and then you have to go back to your theme on your Shopify store and before making any modifications I would suggest that you duplicate it. So you have to click on actions and duplicate and this will allow you to have a copy of your theme just in case you make any big mistakes and want to go back to the initial theme files. And once you've done that click on actions again and then edit code. Here you will have to open the theme.liquid file and scroll all the way down to find the section footer. Since we want to add our trust badges above our footer, all we have to do is paste the code that we copied before the line section footer. So I'm going to make some space here and I'm going to paste the code that I just copied. Of course, you always have to save the changes that you make. And then if I go to my store again, you can see here that the badges are not present. And when I um, refresh the page, they appear. And of course this code is responsive, which means that if I go to the mobile view on my computer, we will see that we have one section per line, which is perfect for mobile devices. Now let's go back to the code here. And let me explain what potential changes can be made to the code itself. So let's say you don't like the content that we have used to create this footer section or maybe you want to translate them into another language. So it's going to be fairly easy to modify them. It's fairly easy for the text, just change them as you wish by making sure you don't touch the code itself. As for the images, for example, if you want to change the free shipping image here, you have to add a new image to your Shopify files and then you have to copy and paste the URL to that image in between the quotation marks that you can see here. So I have highlighted the uh, link that you have to uh, replace by the new URL of your new image. And to continue, let's take a look at the display style of the section. This is the part of the code that helps us make any changes to the style itself. For example, let's say that you have a dark background on your uh, Shopify store. I'm going to change the background right now. Background. Let's make it uh, dark. There you go. You can see that, uh, or maybe let's make it gray first. You can see that we have the uh, text section that is uh, with a white background, which is not great. So to change that, all you have to do is go back to your code. And here in the background, you have to type none. So if you type none and save it, it will change the background of the text section here. Let me refresh the page. Once more, change the background. There you can see that we no longer have the white background. And now if you want to use only three out of the four sections, for example, you can do that fairly easily. You have to go back to your theme and delete a few lines of code. So if you want to delete the secure payments, you have to go up a few lines above it and find the first line that says li class equal call item. If you click on it, you will see that we have two uh, lines that are highlighted in beige. So all you have to do is select everything in between those two lines, the lines themselves included, and delete it. And once you've done that, please don't forget to change the width of each section. Here you can see that we have 25%. So when you have only three sections out of the 100%, you have to put 33. Then again, you save the changes and you have to go back to your store. When you refresh it, you will see that you only have three sections now. Please know that this section will be displayed in all of the different pages of your store, but if you want to display it only on your homepage, you can just make a few changes to the code and it will be limited to the homepage itself. 
For that, you have to come back to this part of the tutorial. What you will have to do is copy the first line, paste it at the beginning of the code, and then copy the second line and paste it at the end of the code. And of course, always save the changes. And if we go back to the store, I'm going to uh, refresh the page, we'll see that the section is still present here. But now if we go to any other page in the store, for example, the collections page, we will see that there is no longer any footer section. Let's check the product page itself too. Here, there you go, you can see it is no longer displayed. And lastly, if you have a very dark background in your store, you have to go back once more to the tutorial. And here you have another code that you can use. This code will help you change the color of your text into white or any other color that you prefer. And all you have to do is just copy and paste the code itself at the very bottom of the theme.scss.liquid file. There you go, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and will find it very useful. Please don't forget to subscribe because we are going to upload more than 50 free tutorials and also leave us a comment to mention anything that you would want to see.